Hi, my name is Chris Lindgren. These are my note cards, and I'd like to introduce my audience. Hi, I'm Chrissy. Oh. Buff. As a young high school graduate, and like many other of my peers, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Am I really expected to know exactly what I'd like to do with so little first world knowledge and experience? As a result, my college journey has been very interesting to say the least. What I originally thought I would be studying is very different from what it is nowadays. My greatest interest when I began college was making money, and investing was one of my hobbies. I was very into the stock market, and I still actively invest to this day. I even speculate on different companies and stocks, but I now realize this is more of a hobby than what I want to spend my life doing. I began my college education at Hampton Sydney over in Farmville, Virginia. I attended there for about two years, focusing on economics, but I still felt kind of adrift from my classes and didn't really have a strong drive. A series of unfortunate circumstances that actually turned out to be fortunate fortunate for my future, provided me a year off to reflect on my life and consider what was most important to me. My mom and I had discussions asking thoughtful questions along the lines of, do you want to work with people? Happy ones. Do you want to work with animals? Sure. Are you patient? No, not really. Do you like repetitive work? No, I get bored way too easily. Do you like to learn? For the most part, I like hands-on learning personally. Do you want to work outside? Not in bad weather, and not with bugs. Do you want to work at 8 to 5 in an office? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you want to travel? Absolutely yes. Those questions honestly didn't help narrow down a career path for me, though. But they did help me start to think for myself. I thought about some of the happiest times I had in life. Most of them were when I was on vacation in different exotic places around the world. But surely you really can't make a career out of that, can you? What eventually helped me find my way the most was positive work experience at a, nor a nearby country club next to my house. I served people, I set up for events, uh, weddings, celebrations, many others. And I served the people and learned a lot about the business in the process. I also learned a lot about myself. This was hard, long, but fulfilling work. The hours are not regular and they're very long to be honest, but they keep me fulfilled and keep me interested. Um, I realized then that being surrounded by people who are enjoying themselves actually indirectly makes me happy as a whole. And this actually helped me revamp my whole college education and redirect my life. To this day, I am a third year student at James Madison over in Harrisonburg, Virginia. I'm working on a Bachelor of Science in Business and with a concentration in hospitality management. My goal is to have a career in the hospitality industry where I can travel, work, and have new experiences and meet new people all the time. I think it's very difficult for young people to know what they want to spend the rest of their lives doing when they really have little, little to no experience, actually, on what they want to do. I was very fortunate enough to figure out what I like to do when I was at a young age. And I always tell people who are younger than me that Taking the time to really figure out what you like to do and what you love and passionate about is some of the most important lessons you can have in life. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Nice to learn. Nice. Good job. All right, how long was that? Mm. Better be good.